Hey guys, this is Backdraft and welcome to Sky Factory 3, episode 18. So in the last episode, we started dabbling around with the chickens mod, and I'll show you guys a little bit of progress that I've made since then. So in the last episode, we made a coal chicken, we had log chickens, flint chickens, and since then, I've got three coal chickens going. I've got two bone chickens. Those are simple. You just put an egg in a grid with bone meal, you get bone chicken eggs. And then I got um, these three additional nesting pens and put these guys together. So flint chicken plus uh, bone chicken yields iron chicken. And I don't think I have any iron chicken eggs yet. Uh, oh, I have, oh my god, speak of the devil. We got an iron chicken egg. Okay. So the goal after that is I'm just going to keep breeding these guys. Where do you guys think you're going? What? <sighs> Whatever. Um, I don't need them. <laughs> so the goal after that is to put coal chicken plus iron chicken to get steel chicken. But I'm going to move away from this. Uh, oh, let me get these guys here. Uh, I'm going to move away from this in just a second. Let me put these coal chickens back. Um, you know what? They can stay there. Whatever. So as you guys saw, if you did see briefly in my chest over there, where are you going? <laughs> Come back. Um, is I have, once I grab this little guy, I have 23 log chickens. So the goal for this episode is to make a fully automatic log farm that is powered by log chickens. But to do that, I'm going to need a lot more nesting pens. And for nesting pens, I'm going to need wheat. And I don't have very much right now. But what I can do is I can put speed upgrades inside of this mechanical user. Now to get speed upgrades... You need upgrade base, gold, and block of redstone. But upgrade base requires that you put a golden weighted pressure plate through a resonator. Now, it just so happens that off camera, I made a resonator and I plopped it down over here. And I didn't realize that the dang thing needs grid power to work. <laughs> now, the simplest way to get grid power is solar panels. So solar panels... Whoops, there we go. Solar panels from um, extra utilities only work during the daytime, and they require a resonating crystal, polished stone, and four lapis, which I have been doing off camera, so I can make myself or make myself some solar panels. Once I get my crafting bench out, there we go. Bam, solar panels. So I'll put these next to the resonator and go to sleep. And then I should get some grid power in the morning once the sun rises. And from there, we can throw these weighted pressure plates in the resonator, get upgrade bases, and the rest is history in terms of getting speed upgrades. And we should get wheat like friggin' crazy. <laughs> so let's go back over there. I hope this actually worked. I've never done grid power before. La la la. So let's check it out. And there we go. All right, this is awesome. So it looks like it's not very fast. Uh, oop. Is there not enough? Um, let's see. Power generating one, power generating one, power generating one. Um, okay, I think I need eight solar panels for this to work. So, okay. That's no problem. So I'll need two more of these which is no problem. Boom, boom. Then I will need, I think I have everything else. Then, bam. So we got six of these guys now. That should be enough in theory. If I surround this with solar panels, and there you have it, all right, cool. So let's get all these bad boys going and then we're going to need blocks of red, nine blocks of redstone and nine gold ingots, which there should be plenty of gold in here. So let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll put those bad boys back in there. Oop, sorry, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll grab as much redstone as we can to make nine redstone blocks. And we'll wait for those gold pressure plates to become um, the upgrade bases and we got our redstone blocks so then we got our upgrade bases and let's make a few of these 
Oopsie. Speed upgrades. Bam. Bam. We got one. <laughs> um, can you only make one at a time? Oh, there we go. Okay. So we got four speed upgrades now. I want to do all nine. <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm, I, I want to go above and beyond. I want to do all nine at once. So we're just waiting. Oopsie. Let me get those. We're just waiting on a couple more. One more. Once again, this is only going to work during the day because solar panels aren't going to generate any grid power um, at night. There are lunar panels which generate uh, grid power from moonlight, but, you know, I'm not going too crazy right now. All right, we have nine speed upgrades. I think the most you can put into a device is ten. So let's see what nine does in terms of spitting out the bone meal, and bam! Um, is it... Too many power drain nine grid power eight. Oh, wait, let me throw a solar panel there. There we go. Oh my god, holy crap! <laughs> this thing is going crazy. Okay, so this actually needed grid power too, but what was generating grid power over here? I don't know. Was it just naturally picking up the grid power? This thing is going nuts. Oh my god. We're getting so much wheat. All right, so that's awesome. Now that that's going, I think we need 23 nesting pens. We have 15, I did some AFK, but let's get all the wheat that we currently have. And I'm gonna take these seeds just so that more wheat can get into there. And we'll plop the seeds over here because the seeds are useful for growing our chickens up. So we'll plop the seeds over here. Okay, let's craft as many hay bales as we can. Oopsie. Oh my god, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> okay. More hay. All of the hay. Alright. We've got a lot of wheat. Okay, there's that. And that should be done. Yeah. Okay. So now we need some wood. This thing is going nuts. It's going to blow through the bone meal. Oh my god. Okay. Let's go back over here. We'll throw all this redstone back. We don't need it right now. We'll throw the lapis back. That'll get compressed. And let's build our nesting pens. So 23 log chickens is a good number of chickens, but really I want like 50 because I want fully automatic wood like I said and I'm gonna put it over here I'm gonna clear this entire area out because once I have automatic wood I'm not really gonna need the dirt and this is the slimy dirt you know I can put that somewhere else so let me get some wood and we'll build ourselves our nesting pens okay oh I need to build nests I forgot about that <laughs> 24 perfect okay so, let's throw these. I think that's the recipe, if I'm not mistaken. Is it that? Yeah, it's that. Okay. So, we got 10. Did I throw down some wood? Yeah, I did accidentally. Okay. All right. We're going to need more wood, which is ironic because that's exactly what we're trying to get. Um, yeah, I got a ton of it here, so that's fine. We'll turn all those into planks, and then we'll throw these bad boys back. Oops, pick that up. Ah, I need to get used to right-clicking to use that crafting bench. Okay, two more is all we need. And bam, all right. 25 nesting pens. Awesome sauce. Okay. And let's get to going. Let's clear this area out. Um, we might as well use this polished stone. Why not? Okay, throw that there. Bum, 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 boom, boom. My AIOT has been suffering. <laughs> it's okay. We can always build another one now that we have automatic diamonds. <laughs> Let me get some fences. Um... There they are. Okay. Plop those bad boys down. Get these out of the way. 
Don't want to lose that slimy dirt. Let's go put that away right away. So we'll put that there. There. Keep the fences for now. I don't know if I'm going to need it. Where'd my slimy dirt go? Oh. Oh my god. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> okay, let's get this bad boy out of the way. Get this out of the way. Can mobs spawn here? Oh, apparently they can't. Look how fast that's, that wheat's going. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oopsie. I don't know if you guys can see that way off in the distance, but the wheat is just going insane over there. <laughs> Speed upgrades. Awesome. Okay. Once we move all this out of the way, this is going to be our automated um, log chicken farming area. Okay. So first things first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think we'll just eventually surround the entire area here with um, log chickens. And I'm actually going to make it two in the air so that I can control the Ender IO conduits without having to go underground or beneath the area here. Oops, don't want to put that there. We'll put that there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oopsie, wrong way. Come here. 10, 11. And then we'll put. Um, we'll leave a space there. And then we'll put one there. I don't know if I need to put a space. It's not that. Let's not put one in the corner. Yeah, we'll do that. Just so it's pretty for the most part. Okay. And then we'll need a bunch of conduits, which are no problem whatsoever. And, oop, that's the corner. We don't want to put one in the corner. Okay, bam, 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 bam. And we'll put this in, we'll put this last little guy over here. Once again, not in the corner. Bum, 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 oopsie, that's not what I want, <laughs> come here, okay, bum, and boom, okay, alrighty, so next, we need a ton of conduit, which, like I said, isn't a problem, I don't know if we have any conduit binder laying around, if not, we can always make some, um, Okay, conduit binder. I know that we have some conduit, but we don't have enough. If I don't have any conduit binder, it's going to be a pain to make some. Um, I don't think I have any. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, I do. I made a crap ton of it. Okay. Crafting grid. Place that bad boy there. Bad, bad boy there. There. Oop. We definitely need more. Okay, we'll get rid of that, 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 that. Bam. Did I do it wrong? Oh, it's the other way around. Okay. Boom. And we might as well just make as much as we can. Boom, because we're going to need a lot of it. Okay, so let's go around and we will put the... Ender IO conduits beneath these, and we'll make sure we're setting them all to extract. And I will eventually need to do a filter to just filter out logs and put the rest like somewhere else. Oh, that's cool. So if I right click it, it makes it on always. Always on. And then we'll put one in the corner here just so that we can have one entry and exit area. I'm sorry, we'll have one pipe leading to the chest, which will be in the middle. And then we'll filter out eggs and manure and all that stuff and put that in a separate chest somewhere else. Leave that off somewhere else. Okay, oopsie. And this thing is infinitely scalable because I can just, you know, go up and just put more and more and more chickens. And this thing will just be flying and I'll have logs out the yin yang. Okay. 
bam, bam, bam. Sorry, this is a little redundant right now, but we're almost done. Oopsie. A little bit of a mistake there. Bam, and that's all she wrote. So now let's make, um, right now we'll make a crate and we'll just toss it in the middle and that'll be that. And then we can start putting the chickens in so we can throw all this stuff away. Okay, uh, we'll put the wood with the wood, of course. Wood with the wood. You can put that random, random, random wood. Random and random. Okay, let me go get all my chickens. Let's sleep first. Let me go get all my chickens and then we'll come back. And then we'll make ourselves our. Oh my god, look at this thing. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, this is nuts. Let me get all these seeds. Wow. This is insane. I want all this to be wheat, though. So. And then the seeds can, you know, fall for all I care. They can, you know, they'll. Actually, we'll leave one row for seeds. Cup, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Now let's take all the seeds over here. Looks like I missed a couple stacks of wheat. Yeah, this is just going nuts. Oh my god, that's friggin' sweet. Oh, we got our iron chicken. He hatched. Hey, little guy. Did we get any more? Let's see. Bone white, log, flint. Mm, nope. No more iron chickens. But that's okay. Let's throw the seeds in here. And then we'll grab all of our chickens. And let's get ourselves an automatic log farm, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, oopsie, give me that. Okay. La la la. Okay, so this is going to be another redundant process, and I want to put, I don't want to put two of these in one video, so I'm going to go ahead, fill all these up, I'm going to make myself my storage crate, and I'll be back with you guys in a minute when I have everything together. Behold the completed fully chicken powered log farm. All right. Um, I think I'll be slowly expanding this thing because I want a lot of logs, but as you guys can see, this thing has produced quite a few logs so far, and all of these chicken eggs are growing and growing and growing. I think the most you can get from basic chickens, yes, are these 3-3 three, three eggs. Um, some of the other ones are okay, but I'm going to be taking the 3-3 three, three eggs and getting top tier chickens so that this thing will be running like crazy. So let me go over to my nesting pen really quick and incubate these two little guys. I had one going earlier. I'm not sure if he's done yet. Oh, yep. And oh, he is done. Okay. Let me check on these guys. And I had the uh, another iron chicken egg I threw in here. Okay, that one is a 3-3 three, three log chicken. So let me grab him. Where is he? Not you. You're a weakling. <laughs> Sorry. Um, where are you? Stop. There he is. 3-3 three, three log chicken. So we're gonna we're going to grow him up and then eventually put him back into our log chicken farm and we'll get even better chickens so i'm gonna incubate these guys and then we're gonna move on to something else for the rest of this episode so as you guys can see here this thing has blown through all <laughs> of the bone meal that i put into it so i've got an idea to make this thing um go indefinitely with the flick of a lever because I don't, you know, I can flick the lever on and off because I don't want lag or anything like that. If there's just tons of items chilling here and there's no room for them in the crate, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run an Ender IO conduit all the way from over here. I'm gonna spit out bones and I'm gonna lead them over into this direction. Put them into an auto um, crafter. So as you guys can see, you can make this mechanical crafter, this one's pretty simple, or a tier one crafter, which um, this is probably the simplest thing I can build. I'm gonna go ahead and build that right now. But anyway, the bone is going to feed into this auto crafter and it's going to make it into bone meal and then feed it right into the um, uh, mechanical user. And then 
you know, you have infinite wheat and seeds pretty much <laughs> at that point. Okay, so I need two crafting benches. Oh, come here, there we go. Two crafting benches. And then I need two redstone torches. So let me get a couple sticks. And I think I had some redstone laying around somewhere. Yep, bam, bam. Let's craft a couple redstone torches. Get out my crafting table on a stick, which is the greatest invention ever made. And where is it? Tier one crafter. Um, hang on. Um, crap, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Sorry, guys. I can't. What the heck was that thing called? Auto craft crafting. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. I am losing my mind. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. You know what? I remember the recipe. I'm just gonna make it. This is a waste of time. <laughs> okay, what the heck is it called? Crafter! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, um,. I'm gonna grab this bad boy, and I'm going to put down the crafter here. It needs RF, which I guess isn't the end of the world. Um, there is one that doesn't need RF though. Mechanical crafter. I don't think this one needs RF, um, but it might need grid power. Screw it. I'll just put a furnace generator over here for now. But we'll put this down here, and I'm going to put into it um, a... I'm going to put a filter on the insert, and I'm going to have to lead this all the way underneath, which probably which isn't going to be fun, but we're going to do it. Um, and it will go this way, most likely. Um, I need to fill in that hole with something, otherwise I'm going to fall in. I apologize, I'll fix this later, guys. I know you're probably freaking out. But anyway, um, we're going to lead a conduit all the way over to there, and we're going to pull bones out of it and stick them right in here so we can get auto wheat if, you know, forever and ever. And then I'm going to put a lever on here so we can toggle the mechanical user on and off, and I'll make it... Um, redstone on so when I flick a lever this thing will go so anyway uh, this is going to take quite a while to lead the conduit over to, to this area over here so I'm going to hop off camera and I'm going to go ahead and run that cable the whole way down there and I'll be back with you guys when I've got that all set all right guys I have finished this monstrosity up so I've ran the conduit all the way back to my colossal iron chest and it's feeding all of the bones that come out of there into this tier one crafter so what's going on is i've got this crafting recipe for bone meal in here and i'm sorry and um the uh lever on the side of the mechanical user so what happens is these both are activated by redstone signal so when i flick the lever the thing fires off and I have unlimited wheat and unlimited seeds from this thing. And I've got it running off of a lava generator and I put my fire water to use again over here because this thing is never going to run out of power. And as you guys can see, uh, the, the crafting from the crafter keeps up with the usage of the mechanical user just right. And this thing just goes Bam, 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 bam. So you got unlimited wheat and unlimited seeds from this thing. There is no way this thing's going to run out so long as there's bones in the colossal chest that are feeding into it. So I'll go ahead and turn it off so you guys can see it's just nuts the, the, how fast this thing is. But unfortunately, that is all the time I have for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. So if you liked it, please do not hesitate to hit that thumbs up. And if you're enjoying the series so far and you like my other videos and all that, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much if even just one or two of you guys who watch this video would subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers still so that I can get my own YouTube extension and, uh, you know, 
obviously I'm always trying to grow and, you know, I'm, I'm trying to entertain as many people as possible. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching as usual and bye-bye. I'll see you again.